channel here at Roadie Collects. It's B Murph. Doogie. So this week we decided to go on a little adventure because our, uh, what do you, what'd you call it, our DBZ collection? Yeah, the yeah. DB. DBZ, DBZ from $20. DBZ. It's not uh, it's not moving as fast as we'd like. Um, the items we bought to sell have uh, not sold. So therefore we have no funds back in the pool to buy stuff for the collection. We ideally like to get to hundred dollars before we start buying some more DBZ stuff. You know, we lucked out with a, like a two dollar T-shirt last time, right? Yeah. But at this point, we're just you know we're just waiting. We can't do anything until we sell the stuff. We knew it was gonna take a while, so that's why we're not like too worried about it. Right. We just so in the guys. meantime, we decided what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around where we live and check out a new comic book shop once a month. Comic book, toy, collectible shop, hobby shop, some kind of shop like that, and. We'll do we'll do uh, some footage of the inside, check it out. You know, depending on what's there, we may or may not purchase. We both know, we all know, that I'm more apt to purchase than uh, him. Yeah, I have a problem, uh, especially when it comes to rare, awesome-looking vintage collectibles. So uh, this week we decided to go to Kojo's Toy World in New Bedford. Awesome guy, and uh, let's take a look at what we found. It was a great shop. Uh, like, like you said, uh, we went in there, not expecting really to buy anything, but B Murph. Oh boy, did I buy stuff. He bought oh, stuff. Oh man, I bought some stuff, vintage stuff, stuff I did not expect to see. Mm -hmm. I went in there thinking like, oh, maybe I can find like a cool, like vintage, like single, you know, unpackaged figure, you know, loose, like maybe from Mummies Alive, maybe like a reasonably priced Street Shark, something like that. Boy, did I find some stuff. Let, mm -hmm. let me show you. So, not only did we get these nice items, but look uh, at the bags they came in. Look at this. Talk about vintage, right? Gojo hooked us up. Look at this. A Toys R Us bag. Like, I want to put this bag on display. That's how cool this is. Right, so what we have here is a 20th edition, uh, oh, wow. 20th anniversary edition of Optimus Primal. Look at that. So this is like the Beast Machines. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Explain it to me. But, so, after Beast Wars, um, there was this a sequel series called Beast Machines where Optimus Primal, you know, was back in gorilla form. And uh, this is really just a repaint of that, but it was so cool. It's something I've been wanting to, you know, get for the collection for the, the longest time. Look at that. I've been trying to find one on eBay for like a reasonable price, but never really saw it. Saw one that I wanted to pull the trigger on. Um, I mean, the box has got a little bit of damage on the bottom, but who cares? It's going on the on the shelf. You'll never see it. You'll never see the damage. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, just awesome stuff. Hey, look at that. I do like the, like the artwork. Right, right. and it's all yeah. embroidered too. Yeah, I was gonna say. It's like just that. cool on display. I'm just like, do I want to leave it open? Like, how do I want to display it? Do I want to put it on the end so I can like you know display open it like it this? Up. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. like when you look at the case, if you look on the case this way, you'll see the cool artwork, and then when you look at it in the front, you'll see this. Cause I have another one. Did you see the other one? I got? Doesn't matter even if he did see one of the But <clears throat> it's just awesome box art. You yeah. Know? Um it's like the newer generation of Hasbro's uh Transformer line, but mm. it's just it's so cool. This Ooh. I don't expect that. Song, that. I don't know. So is this from 26? So it's a So this is from 2016, 2016, the 20th anniversary edition of gotcha. I think it's of Beast Wars. Um, it's crazy. Crazy is that old already. It's like 26 years old now. 2016, excuse me. Maybe it's the year of the monkey? 
Yeah. Right? Well, either way, I knew this was out there and I want it for the collection. Just happy to have it and finally add it to it. Oh, next. This is what I'm most excited for. Hand over the, uh, the next bag. So again, go joke yourself with an awesome bag. Most excited for this. Oh, well, uh, you, know, uh, you know what? You know what? We'll do that next. Hold on for the big item. So remember, I was talking about um, loose action figures. So I've wanted a Captain Planet figure for my '90s shelf on my. So I have a bookcase full of just '90s things, and I wanted this so bad. I haven't found it online for a reasonable price. I mean, granted, I did pay fourteen dollars there. Um, I couldn't really tell you if that's that's good or bad at this point. I just I was so happy to see it. It was the only Captain Planet figure there. <coughs> Bless you, sir. Uh, only Captain Planet figure there, and I was just pumped to add it to the collection. Plus, it's a vintage uniform. Bless you again, sir. Thank you. May Captain Planet bless you. I hope he does. Yeah. Okay. So, just look at that. It's you clean, too. That's a really good condition. Right. It's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's not even too scuffed up. No. Like, look at that. You can't... No scuffs. No. Awesome. Let's see. Let's take a look at it. Yeah. So there's like there was a ton of toys came, that came out from Captain Planet and like I tried finding them on the Goodwill website. By the way, if you're ever looking for some good deals on stuff that you may be overpriced on eBay, check out shopgoodwill.com. That's where I like get some sneaky deals. I just got an N64 for Casey the other day. I haven't told him about it yet. 86 bucks. Wow. And it came with two games with all accords, working, controller. I'm gonna surprise them with it. Nice. <clears throat> but yeah. So if you're watching Casey, which you're probably not, no. now you know. No, he's not. He doesn't watch it. <laughs> well, maybe he should know. He's our number one uh, fan. Fan. <laughs> but yeah, we're... like so on the shelf with this though, there was a whole ton of '90s stuff. There was Power Rangers. There was a Street Shark, the uh, Eel Serpent, which I just I was buying so much other stuff, I mm. just couldn't justify another thirty dollars. You know, which. Think about what I paid for. So this was 14. Um, Optimus Prime was 60. So I mean, that's not that bad. Those are pretty reasonably priced. But are you I saw this. That's the price tag on it? No, I'll take it off. It's oh. just I wanted to wait until we did the video. Gotcha. Okay. No, so that way you they believe me. Yep. Um. Okay. Yeah, there was so much cool stuff. And then on the sidewall, right on the right in the front window, when you walk in on the right of the front window, he has a yep. whole like hanging display of loose figures bagged. And there was stuff from Mummies Alive. Yep. Unfortunately, they were the ones I had already, so it wasn't really worth me getting. Uh, but there was all kinds of old Marvel Legends, Toy Biz from, and then like the early 2000, like 13 to 14, Hasbro ones. What else was there? There's a lot. Like all, all kinds of stuff. Like so many cool things. Old vintage Power Ranger stuff. And then the crown gem, as far as I'm concerned. Right. We'll, we'll get to it in a second. But they also, I, I forgot, I forgot. I gotta hype it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, hype it up. Hype they had up. half the store was dedicated, oh, I wanna say about half, maybe like a third of the store, the wrestling sl yes, selection. Yes, I there. definitely. If you are into wrestling figures, collectibles, anything wrestling, vintage, go to Kojo's. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure it's, I don't wanna say it's owned by, but I know there's an involvement with a semi pro wrestler, uh, not WWE, I think he does like New Japan pro wrestling. Scott would know. Yeah. Scott, in the comments section below, let us know who he is, what he does, and hook up the people. Yes. Um, but anyway, ton of wrestling stuff. Really cool stuff. They had some vintage belts there. Did you see those? I did see those. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. I was really tempted to buy one. It was like 300 bucks. Yeah, I said I was tempted. I didn't yeah, say I was yeah. going to. It looks good, though. If they I had that the world heavyweight, though. Oh, yeah. yeah so, yeah. did you know that... <laughs> I'm going off on a tangent. But during uh, pay-per-views, WWE does a discount on their... Uh, belts i did not know that yeah so That's wrestlemania random. is coming up well scott told me and so i've been remembering for this one yeah so that yeah. way maybe you'll buy one maybe i'll buy the world heavyweight why not we'll see we'll, we'll see. see we'll see if everyone needs right. one yeah scott's got quite a few scott's yeah. got a nice collection going. yes but yeah and they also had he-man a whole like wall of he-man we'll throw up the picture i got it so we'll throw it up in one of these corners up here so you can see it um, this one, right in front of his face. Right in front of this face, this yep. beautiful face. You'll see this nice picture of He-Man stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. But yeah, and then, finally, also in a nice Toys R Us bag, the creme de la creme, Beetle Borgs Metallics. I have mm -hmm. never seen a sealed box set like this in person. I was so pumped. 
so Casey's the one who pointed this out. I didn't even see it. It was hidden behind a bunch of Power Ranger stuff. Yeah. Totally missed it. And he's just like, what, what? you didn't see the Beetleborg stuff? I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I had to like redo everything I was thinking. I want, because there was, like I said, the um, Street Sharks thing was there. Yeah. There's a couple other things there I was thinking about buying. But then I saw this and like I had to reprioritize everything I was getting. Yeah. This was awesome. So this was $80. I don't know where the price tag is. I think it might have fallen off. But either way, this was 80 bucks. Yep. But it came with the three main Beetleborgs. Yep. And the three villains from the Metallic season, which was the second season of Beetleborgs. Um, so cool. I'm never gonna open it. This is just straight out for display. Do you think it's ever been opened before? Um, so this tape looks like vintage tape, to be honest with you. So I don't think so. Like, yeah. what do you guys think? Like, look at that, those tape. So it's a little ripped, yeah. but that's vintage tape. Like, that's not new resealed tape. And plus, it looks like all the weapons are there. Yeah, you know? I was gonna say, everything looks like it. It looks complete. Yeah. Like, that's sticking up a little bit, but even then... Yeah, well, I mean, this is what, 1998, yeah. 97, so... What does it say on the back? Does it say what you... Let's see... On the side, maybe? Pages four and up. What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> Proof of purchase. Oh, here we go. Here that's we go. Insane. 1997. 1997. So it's a good year. Yeah, seven years old. But uh, and then look, if you can see the uh, other stuff that came out during that season for figures. So I have the Beetle Bonder, that one. Oh, I have yeah. these. Yep. And I have this guy. So I preferred the Metallic season to the first season. Yep. Um, That's so why this, you're so excited. For yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Because it was like a lull in Power Rangers at that point. Like Power Rangers Turbo had gone mm -hmm. through a like phase where all the old rangers were leaving and they brought in the new team of rangers yeah and not that the season wasn't good it's just there was a lull in between seasons mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so beetleborg so uh, came from clutch back then but yeah so pumped to have this to collection definitely gonna go back though there's so much cool stuff there <coughs> excuse me but yeah so many cool things um he, he's always posting stuff online check out his instagram check out their uh facebook page yep Always posting new stuff. Yep. Let us know what you thought about this video. Um, we plan on doing a couple more. There's a lot of shops in the area. This was just a, one we haven't been to before. So we wanted to, you know, versus like the regular ones like Toy Bolt. Everyone around here knows about Toy Bolt. Um, we'll probably go to it at some point, but we're gonna try and stick to lesser known stores at this point, so. I like it. Yeah. At least until the DBZ collection goes, and we'll probably throw this in the mix too, because, you know, it's fun. It is fun. Yeah. And if you want us to start a podcast, make sure to also put in the comments below if you'd like that. Podcast. What topics you want to hear. Yeah. We're really down for anything. Anything. You know, probably not politics. You know, politics is too too hot button of an issue. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but make sure to like and subscribe, comment down below, follow us on Instagram, TikTok. Share with your friends, please. Share with your friends. The more you share, the more we grow, the better, you know, yeah. the channel will be. If you share, if everyone, if every person shares with 10 of their friends, I will buy B Murph a dress to wear. I will wear that dress. Yes. Doesn't Outside matter what color to. in public on the corner of Walmart, I will buy the Target. You know what I'm saying? All right, now we're getting like nope. a little complicated. Nope. You said weird dress. Yeah. Now I gotta wear dress. it at Walmart? Yeah, like on the corner. Like no, the corner I'm not, no, no. Yes. All right. If we got, if we got 10 people, we have 71 subscribers, that's 710 people. If we can get to a thousand subscribers, before the end of 2022. Before the end of 2022. You'll wear a dress. I will wear a dress at Walmart. I'm not saying on the corner. But you'll walk around Walmart in a dress. I will wear a dress at Walmart. And, and do your mom impersonation. The whole time. All right. Deal. Let's it's make up it to happen. you, people. It's make up to it you. happen. Do you want to see me in a dress? What kind of dress? I'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. It's got to be big enough to fit this Bodisha's body. Yes. You know? Anyway, Goals. thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.